Hey, what's up everybody? This is Matt from Rocky's War Room. And I have for you today another Let's Build video uh, for Beyond the Gates of Antares. This time it's the Algren AI Infiltration Squad. And this box is exciting because it's got two extra models. So it comes with five standard models and two drones and two extra models so you can fulfill a full squad of the Infiltration Squad if you pay the option points for it. So this box, as you can see, nice artwork here. They're, uh, <clears throat> the uh, box art here, they're black with a slight red highlight. They're a little bit different. They're better known as the our, our elite, uh, elite soldiers. And it's one Algren infiltrator squad leader, four Algren infiltrators with mag repeaters. And I'm assuming that means that the two extra ones are gonna be two more with uh, mag repeaters. One Algren spotter probe, uh, with flying stands, and you get one Beyond the Gates of Endoris order dice that comes with it, which is really cool. Uh, I have tons of order dice, but I tell you what, you can <laughs> you can always use more, that's for sure. So let's take a look at what's in the box. All right. Oh, wow. Let's set that aside. So we have our seven guys, our order dice, and they give you 10 bases. So you have seven guys and two spotted drones. So you got one extra base, looks like. Awesome. I like extra stuff for free. <laughs> so let's take a look. Let's get this out of the box. We got the sponge. And thank you, Tina C, for packing this package. All right. Got the order dice. We're just going to jump these out of here. Just like that. Because we're super excited. Not sure exactly what this is. All right. So it looks like most of this is like the standard kits. They have uh, their their whole bodies with their guns attached. Just need to put the head on. <clears throat> so we have the spotter drones, which is easy. They just go on the flight stand right there. Flight stand right there. And here's the three. One, two, three. Let's see. Here's the heads. Heads are up here. <clears throat> oh, looks like one of them is stuck between the other one guess that happens with these guys <laughs> so if you look at the box art you should be able to pretty much figure out which one's the uh the squad leader but i can tell because he has a mag pistol i believe that's what they said with the micro x launcher uh looks like we've got a little bit of flash to cut off no big deal but here's your seven guys here's the heads we're going to put on there and this here Oh, it's two optional heads. Excellent. And I think they're optional unhelmeted heads here, if it's what they look like. Yeah. Well, that's cool. You have the option of doing that. That's pretty neat. I think I might do that for one of the leaders. And then two of them don't have weapons. These two fellows right here do, do not have weapons at all. And that's pretty cool. They got the stamp of Warlord Games on the bottom. And we can just take a quick look. There we go. Just the light a little bit. You guys can see nice looking model very good detail i love the metal ones I, sometimes i feel like they have the best detail on them uh, compared to the plastics not taken away from the plastics they do a great job with plastics nowadays but uh there you have it we're going to put some heads on this put them on the bases uh put these guns on and we're going to get to it so back in a second we'll see these put together
There you have it. There is the Algren AI, or Armored Infantry Infiltration Squad. Uh, these are the elite troops. Uh, you had the regular five, and then you had two extra men. Uh, there are two, um, two of the miniatures that needed their weapons uh, glued on, these two here. Uh, I made a mistake. <laughs> Just want to let you know. I didn't test fit to see which one fit where. Um, I put this one on and it was like, wow, that doesn't fit. So I tried it on the other one and I go, oh, uh, nope, that don't go there. This one goes there. That one goes there. So make sure you test fit both these weapons here on each one before you start gluing them on. And I did use an Instaset to Instaset these, these weapons on. I typically don't use an Instaset if I, if, if I can avoid it. Um, it was just going to take too long for these to connect. Uh, this one connected pretty good. I didn't have to really put anything on it, but this one I had to insta set. Uh, so my recommendation when you're putting these guys together, put them on their bases, glue their heads on, then tackle the two guns. And uh, you can probably do your spotter drones first. They're only in one piece. Uh, they just kind of slip onto the clear plastic here. Um, the flight stand. So that's not too bad. And I wasn't. I was going to use one of the um, unhelmeted troops, but I like the look of the the helmets on the infiltration squad. I think they're just awesome looking. And I can save these heads for future uh, future Algren that I can put them on, which is uh, pretty cool. You always save your bits. You never know what you're going to use them for. So I'll plop them in my bits box there. And uh, there you go. Um, another thing, oh, one more thing I wanted to add. I don't know if you guys caught this in the first part of the video, but you can rewind it to the beginning. Um, on the very bottom, Warlord put their stamp, Warlord Games, underneath. Uh, most of my videos in Let's Builds, you guys see me um, scoring the bottom of the metal on a um, uh, sandpaper sponge or some kind of sponge to scratch it up a little so it'll have something to bite to. The glue will have something to bite to. Well, uh, I didn't have to do that with these because they were stamped. So uh, the glue is able to get up into the letters of the Warlord games, and it gives it another point to attach to. Uh, so I didn't have to go that route. And um, it worked out great. They stuck pretty well, and they're not going anywhere. <laughs> because normally you want some sort of uh, scratching up as a flat surface, and most of them have been. These, these ones don't. Uh, you want, you know, put scratches and grooves in it so it has something to grab to. So uh, that's one recommendation I have for you. But there they are. There's their order dice. We're going to get them on the table. And that's all I have for you guys. I hope you enjoyed this video. Uh, please subscribe. Uh, if you haven't, I'd really appreciate it. Please tell a friend. Like this video. Leave me some comments. Tell me what you think of this squad. If you, you can use the infiltration squad or what you think of the Algren in general. And last but not least, from me to you, ta-ta, and we'll catch you in the next video.